Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we will talk to you about our banking strategy in Switzerland that is inspired from the Mustachian and the poor Swiss. Do you want to tell them a little bit more about it, Jan? So these are two guys that are talking about their own journey of FIRE, financial independence, retire early. And they blog about this. And this is basically how we found out about the neobanks and other tips and tricks in Switzerland. So before we start with the neobanks, I would just like to mention that the way it works in Switzerland, there are three major bank players, UBS, Credit Suisse and Postfinance. And when we first got to Switzerland, both Hur and I had a bank account with one or several of these major players. And the reason why we did that is because as long as you're a student and below 30, you have a free bank account with these players. However, as soon as you stop being a student, if you are over the age of 26, you start paying for your bank account. So that is why as soon as we stopped becoming students and got over the age of 30, we looked into alternative options. And like Hur told you earlier, we came across a couple of local bloggers that were talking about neobanks. And the first bank that we want to talk to you about is Neon, that's N-E-O-N. And together with Zach, uh, it was one of the first neobanks in Switzerland. Neon collaborates with Hypothecar Bank Lenzburg to do the account management and also to insure your money. And there are a lot of reasons why we like it. The first one is that you get a free account management, so you have a bank account without paying any administration fee. The second one is that you can have two ATM withdrawals each month. I think you mentioned earlier, you told me earlier that it used there used to be a limit to it. It used to be around a thousand francs. Is that right? Per day. A thousand francs per day, but that is not the case anymore. And the third main advantage for us is definitely the fact that you can have free foreign transactions with a very good exchange rate. They use the MasterCard exchange rate. Do you want to tell them about any other benefits, John? They also have discounts and cashback uh, from their partners. Uh, currently, they partnered up with, uh, for example, an insurance company. And with that, you can get a discount on some insurance products. They have also third pillar offerings and they also um, partnered with some investment pl platforms which give you some uh, cashback if you open a, an account with them. That's right. Yeah. And the final advantage that I want to mention for Neon is that you get a 10 francs welcome gift if you use our code that is written down below. And in terms of disadvantages, definitely number one is the fact that while they collaborate with Hypothecar Bank Lenzburg, there are no physical branches for Neon. That has not been a problem for us. Uh, however, I can see that being a problem for other people since that also implies that you cannot make deposits to your bank account. So you cannot go to an ATM and deposit cash into your bank account. And then the second disadvantage is probably given the fact that this is a startup, uh, especially around busy times of the month, for example, the 25th, when a lot of people are using the app, it can be that the app is a little bit unstable and you might have to restart it or try again later. The second neobank that we want to talk to you about is CSX and this is part of Credit Suisse. As I mentioned in the beginning, Credit Suisse is one of the three largest bank players in Switzerland and they entered the neobank market with CSX. Uh, we started using it only a couple of months ago. Uh, we started seeing a lot of like banners around the city and we said, okay, let's check it out. And what drew our attention is definitely the fact that you are able to have a free account with one of the major players on the market. There are a lot of advantages to CSX as well. The first one being that you can have a free bank account with a bank that has physical branches in Switzerland. The second one is that they also have very good exchange rate on foreign, foreign transactions. Another 
advantage for CSX, given that there are physical branches, you can also make fee-free cash deposits in any of the Credit Suisse branches around Switzerland, and there are several of them in every single city. And the final advantage is that you also get a 25 francs welcome gift if you use our code that is also written down below in the description box. In terms of disadvantages, the number one disadvantage for CSX is that despite the fact that Credit Suisse is present all over Switzerland and there are loads of ATMs, you cannot make any free ATM withdrawals. They have a two francs fee for each ATM withdrawal. And the second one would be that while well, the exchange rate is good, it is still a Credit Suisse exchange rate, it's not the MasterCard exchange rate, so the NEON exchange rate is still better than the CSX one. The third neobank that we want to talk to you about is ZAC. ZAC is the neobank of Bank Claire, which used to be Bank Coop. If you uh, know Switzerland, Coop is a large retailer here that also has pharmacies and gas stations and so on. And ZAC, as I mentioned in the very beginning, together with NEON was one of the first neobanks in Switzerland and it has a very similar offering to CSX in the sense that it is a bank that is, it's a neobank that is affiliated with a bank that has physical branches in Switzerland. Given the app that Zach uses, which also has avatars in it, we feel like their main purpose, initially at least, was to reach out to the young population in Switzerland, but there is no age limit to opening a bank account with Zach, so it is open to any age. In terms of advantages for Zach, the first one is similar to CSX, the fact that you have a free account with a bank that has physical branches in Switzerland. And the second one, unlike CSX, given the fact that there are physical branches, you can also make free ATM withdrawals at any of the physical branches. And although there aren't as many in the French part, if you live in the German part, there are quite a lot uh, of them. And the final advantage is that you get a 25 francs welcome gift if you use our code that is linked down below. In terms of disadvantages, Zach uses the Visa exchange rate and it has a surcharge on it. So in the end, the amount that you pay for a foreign transaction is significantly higher than with NEON. The second disadvantage would be the fact that the app development is very slow. We ha we've had the account now for what, over two years probably, and we haven't seen any development. And the third disadvantage would be that there's no option to have the app in English, so you can have it in French or German, for example, but not in English, which works for us, but it can be a problem, especially for expats. The fourth new bank that we want to talk to you about is YA, that is Y-U-H, I hope we are pronouncing it correctly. This is a bank that is, comes from a combination between PostFinance, so one of the three largest players, together with Swissquote, which is an investment platform. And this neobank offers a slightly different offering compared to the other three neobanks that we talked about before, in the sense that it's not just a bank account, but it is somehow also combined with a trading account, since you get direct access to certain stocks and certain cryptocurrencies. In terms of advantages for YA, yeah, the first thing would be that you get a free bank account and a free trading account. The second one is that you get a free euro account, which can come in handy, especially if you have, for example, relatives somewhere else in Europe. The third one is that you get a free ATM withdrawal per week at any ATM in Switzerland. And the last one would be that you get 500 Swiss coins, uh, 500 free Swiss coins when you open your bank account, which is basically a coin, maybe here can tell you a little bit more about it, that is kind of like fixed in value, right? Yeah, and it will be worth five francs right now but maybe it will be more valuable in the future. In terms of disadvantages for YA, yeah, the exchange rate is worse for foreign transactions compared to NEON, and also you have limited stocks and cryptocurrency options. So basically you can only trade the stocks and cryptocurrencies that are available on the app. 
The final neo bank that we are going to talk to you about today is Revolut, and it might be that many of you have already heard about it because it is not a Swiss neo bank. And however, although it is not a Swiss neo bank, you can still get an account with Revolut if you have a residence permit in Switzerland. And while you don't get a personal IBAN, which means that you cannot have your, this account as your main bank account, you cannot receive your salary on it and so on, it might still be worth having an account, especially if you travel around the world a lot. There are a lot of advantages to having a Revolut account. First of all, it is available to all those of you that are outside of Switzerland as well. And some of the advantages are the fact that you can have a fee-free foreign transaction up to a certain limit for, per month. For Swiss users, it is 1,200 francs. You can also have fee-free withdrawals anywhere in the world up to a certain amount. And for those of you residing in Switzerland, the limit is 200 francs per month. You also have direct access to cryptocurrencies. So you can directly go in the app and buy and sell coins. Of course, there's a certain uh, transaction fee for buying and selling, but you have direct instant access to it. You can also transfer money to another Revolut account instantaneously. And there is a big team behind the development of this app since it is a well-established neo bank. So it constantly evolves and we have used it quite a lot for disputes during the pandemic. So when we were buying flights and booking hotels and then we were not getting our refunds on time, we easily just opened the dispute with Revolut. They were contacting the seller and if they weren't replying with a uh, satisfactory response within a certain amount of time, they were just refunding us the money. In terms of disadvantages for Revolut, number one, I have already mentioned it in the beginning, you do not get a Swiss IBAN, which means that you cannot have this account as your main bank account. The second thing is that you get a 1.5% surcharge now on um, top-ups from credit cards, which is something that they just introduced a couple of months ago. But it is a big disadvantage for us because basically if you are topping up from a credit card, you would get the money instantaneously. While if you top up from a bank account, it takes two to three days uh, for the money to reach your Revolut account. The third disadvantage is definitely the markup on the weekend, which is 1%, which is again a big disadvantage for us since we travel around the world most often on the weekend, like if we do city breaks. The one thing that you can do is to exchange money in advance. So for example, you could exchange Swiss francs to euros on Friday and then use it over the weekend and if need be, exchange it back. And the final disadvantage for Revolut is definitely the fact that the fees for transactions or for ATM withdrawals, foreign transactions and ATM withdrawals above the limits that I mentioned are really considerable. I will also insert a code for Revolut down below. Their terms and conditions change all the time, but you might receive a free card by using our code. But we are going to leave it here for now. These are the five neo banks that we wanted to talk to you about. And like I mentioned in the beginning, there will be a part two to this video talking about credit cards and investing in Switzerland. Don't forget to add any questions or comments down below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and feel free to subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. But for now, thank you all so much for watching and for spending time with us and we'll see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye.